Reynolds got it on the tee. He kicks it off, and here we go from Levi's Stadium. On the return, it's Tristan Ebner from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 20. Jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Now, they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A shotgun snap. Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 33 yards that time. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. On first down, Fields. Touchdown, Bears! Jarnell Mooney, 27 yards. And the Bears get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7 0 in favor of the Bears. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Lance in the 49ers now. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Two yards the loss, second and 12. What happened there? Was that just a missed assignment on the O-line? It certainly felt like it, but also the speed of the play. When you talk about defensive end, they want to be ahead of the clock, don't they? They want to be upfield, making plays on every snap. How about his agility there to run that one down? Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Lance now on first down. And that'll be incomplete. But he certainly didn't like what he saw all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to a safety valve. Give defense the credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. And Lance now to throw. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 27. From 
the shotgun to McCaffrey. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a play fake. Lance steps away. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Got his target, Samuel. And he's going to have the Niners first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Well, at that rate, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league and trying to get first downs, unless you're playing four down football. Then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on the A Sports. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it and then run with the football. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. They'll roll him out, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. So a nice bounce back there defensively after giving up the big play. Yeah, you can either get down on yourself or you can get motivated. And that time, they dropped him for a loss. So I would say that they got motivated and made the play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open hook beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He hits Mooney going across the middle, and he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Now it's Fields. This is caught. Touchdown! Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney, and the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
Well, Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Here's Lance to throw it. That's complete out left to Ayuk. And he's got some space here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20 yard line. Here we go. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. This is McCaffrey on the give. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second and six. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, 15 yards. And the Niners have got it back to within a score. Gold with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Boy, they're down only one score, still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second and ten, Fields. A throw for Claypool is intercepted. Picked up by Traverius Ward. And the 49ers will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. And they faked the handoff. Now Lance. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Play action. Now it's Lance. Gets this one to use check. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that's gonna lead to a third and 12. Off of play action, here's Lance. 
open. Man is IU complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. On play action, Lance. Looking for the crossing receiver, and he's got him. It's Samuel. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. 97, triple, 38, shot, 17, striker, 3 3. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown for the Niners. Christian McCaffrey in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Looking downfield for Jones. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This taken in at the goal line. Oh, a good looking return set up here. The 40, the 20. He will score. Touchdown, 49ers. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Takes it at the seven. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good... He's got a man complete! And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And that might be just what they needed to get back in this game. Sometimes you need a big play to shake things up, get a little life in your sideline, get everyone believing again, and they got it there in a big way. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Valus Jones. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Bears are an extra point away from drawing level. Santos with the extra point, and we are tied at 21.
Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter, so we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half, tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. Now a run with McCaffrey. Four yards to pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. got a yard here's second and nine pitching it out to McCaffrey and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 59 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot a CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness and they've got a back that's both we know that he's fast in the open field but man, his first step is so quick too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to it behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Throwing now is Lance. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. The Lance going to throw. Rolling to his right. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Right. 
On first down, this is McCaffrey. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball and they're the ones dictating to the defense. Ready. Second and nine. Hey, go through. Ready. Now Lance on the bootleg, rolling to his left. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Excellent work there by Lance as he scrambles for the first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Here we go. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. This is McCaffrey. Cross the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49 touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Niners answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Now goal for the extra point. It's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he is going to be tackled at the one-yard line. What a mess that was. All right, partner, get that disapproving look off of your face. He did get it out to the one-yard line. Yeah, I know. Wasn't the best play in the world. He's hoping his offense can bail him out. Accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. 